Welcome back to Fort. So I've got a pretty vulnerable ATM6 from <laughs> the much maligned and the very regrettable new Star Wars trilogy series. But one of the big problems about that in this map is, well, you can tell by the laser sight right there. There are multiple, multiple missiles gonna be approaching <laughs> us with intent to, oh, uh, you know, explode, blow up, and kill us, and hurt us, and take away everything we love, which is sweet, sweet victory in forts. And so the question is, well, how do we stop that? There's machine guns, there's flat guns. Well, I've got a mod here that has an anti-munitions beam. Excuse me, sir. That's rude. So what we... <laughs> So what we're gonna need to do then, is build up a defense that is capable of at least, well, knocking out most of the lasers that are really coming towards us, right? So luckily I've got instant build on because guess what's coming? Oh, look. Check this out. So, you know those like, uh... Well, there you go. We used lasers to stop all of the incoming missiles. That's part of the weapons that are available in this weapons pack which is called powerful new toys by gxaps so i mean pl please 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 stop please why why are you trying to hurt me even though i'm also trying to hurt you uh but needless to say if there's too many missiles coming in these things have a very difficult time killing or stopping most of them and honestly you might actually be better served with just a regular old flak gun Oh my biscuits and gravy, dude. You know what we need to do? Hold on. What weapon do I have? We've got a Gauss rifle. 20 millimeter cannon, cannon. Heavy Gatling gun would be kind of interesting. We also have this thing called a particle cannon. One of the new and cool weapons. Let's go ahead and just like try to shut them up a little bit. Can you please stop doing anything that you're doing? Now, what is a particle cannon do and speaking of invasions baron's brigade this video is sponsored by rise of kingdoms lost crusade now in rise of kingdoms you get to choose your civilization and become the dominant force in the world join rise of kingdoms in their newest event called 12 civilization competition final round romans versus vikings personally i love to play as the romans because i get roman legionary units which i love and i think they were the best fighters in the ancient world now there's over 12 civilizations including china the ottoman empire Empire and Byzantium to name a few and every civilization has its own unique soldiers architectures commanders and its own buff giving the game a stronger strategic experience Rome gets a boost to infantry defense and food gathering while Byzantium for example gets bonuses to cavalry and medical now the great thing is that battles are realistic and pretty well fleshed out battles have some serious depth to them so use my link in the video description below and get a special bonus to get awesome limited rewards such as iPhone 13 and AirPods Pro Rise of Kingdoms Lost Crusade and let me know in the comments which Civ is your favorite to play as oh my it, it does continuous damage what are you using were they just trying to stop oh my gosh in the particle cannon did a pretty decent job at shooting down multiple rockets okay i need something that will stop all of the incoming fire so we're gonna get a few more flat guns and by a few more i mean one <laughs> naturally so just how good is the particle cannon that was a regular laser wasn't it here we go we'll just splash their command tower with continuous targeting of particle beams oh there we go okay now all of a sudden uh, I, I feel like these things are kind of hit or miss and unfortunately there's a decent amount of missing What does a heavy Gatling gun do? We'll put it in a very <laughs> sketchy area of our base here. Oh Yeah, you got a lot of little machine gunners on the deck of your boat. Well now they're gone <laughs> That was awesome. Okay, and we're gonna fire the cannon at the command tower Ooh, there's a core right there, isn't there? Okay, we need to destroy that. But I just think that these, like, missile interdiction lasers are really freaking cool. Although, they're not nearly as effective as, say, I kind of was expecting them to be. So I've got to build, like, an entirely different platform down here for that. Just to stick another one down there. 
Are they, have they rebuilt? Yeah, look at this. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll just do that. And we'll take out almost all of the machine gunners on the front. And then particle beam the main area. Now, this should put a lot of heat, a lot of fire in and around that core. Oh my gosh. Then they counter fire with their laser that does a considerable amount of damage. But luckily we've survived. This cannon has survived quite a bit. So we'll spray the decks again. So there's the particle beam, the heavy Gatling gun. We've also got this little guy called the Gauss rifle. Now the Gauss rifle reduces any heavy weapon down to a tiny sliver of HP and kills anything else. If, I would imagine, it makes direct hit. So let's see if I can't... Okay, it deflected off armor plating. So it, it's sort of a limited time use weapon system in that, well, there's not a whole lot you're able to do with it. Heavy mortars, incendiary mortars. Are these also? We got mini guns. Yeah, these are all just like the basic upgrades. Here we go. Heavy machine guns uh, did okay. Not good enough, though. And we just lost most of our anti-aircraft. <laughs> Anti-air defense. All right. What do we got, though? So that's the question, right? I think, ironically enough, I think regular flat guns are better. Whoa. All right. They're going to target that again. I'm hoping I time that right. Oh, I definitely timed that right. All right. What do I want to try to hit? Yeah, this thing isn't able to penetrate armor-piercing rounds. Or rather, it doesn't have armor-piercing rounds. I am a little bit sick, so my verbiage is a little bit off. All right, we're gonna have to do this again. When they fire their rockets. Yes, dude, I love that. If you could make a cannon, a Gatling cannon, that'd probably be the coolest weapon in the game. So that brings me to the question of the day. I, I'm sort of interested in like reaching out and commissioning some of the weapon makers for forts to make like some really, really cool stuff. I'm sick of you targeting me with your lasers, man. Let's destroy this core. The particle beam cannon is definitely cool. Oh, and it's just like, look at that. I don't know how that happened, actually. How did we just create a firestorm beyond it? Let's read what the particle beam does. Powerful accelerated... Powerful particle accelerator that rips forts apart slowly. Useful versus very dense wood spam. Well, I mean, this is the very definition of wood spam, right? Maybe if I could get a lower targeting spot. Luckily for us, we've got the mod where instant build is on. Now, if I could target the front of the ship... It says it's wood spam, but it, is it good at dealing with armor? Oh man, that really chews through the wood pretty quickly, and that's where those residual fires come from. Okay, everything's on fire, everything's dying. We do have an armor-piercing sniper. <laughs> he can do that, it's cool. Let's target a little bit below, so once it cracks this armor, oh wow. It creates fires in front, okay. Since we targeted high up above, it wasn't able to do that because it wasn't as close. Excellent, okay. You're gonna just shoot randomly. And you're gonna shoot again. Oh no. That's bad. Oh my gosh! We're getting wrecked. Okay, what if we were just to do particle cannon spam? I'm not sure if we're able to, like, fit it in here. Oh man, they're heat lasering us? And we need fast firing solutions. So how strong is particle beams and, like, missile interdicting lasers? Pretty powerful. All right. Multiple particle beams at once. This is what three of them look like. I mean, this base is getting absolutely rocked right now. Let's actually... Oh my gosh. Get your heat lasers out of here. Let's get another one. All right. We've got two new ones. I love that. So the sparks flick off and then if they make contact with wood, that's what creates the firestorm. I love it. So needless to say, if you do it to where it has like a really good coverage area. Oh God. Now we'll just sell that guy because there's one behind him ready to go. Look at that. Yeah, so it's, it's not like proximity to the laser. It's the sparks that do it. Highly flammable. 
I always thought like a particle acceleration cannon would be sort of like what was in Halo, where it's like, uh oh, oof, where it was gonna be like a magnetic acceleration cannon. I got my cannons mixed up, needless to say. So now it's just, hey, can we destroy him with particle cannons? Yeah, I mean, there's your answer right there. Yes, we can. Now, what we need is a map where the enemy is just going to be spamming us with missiles. Well, I mean, I think we've got that map. We already know this one's going to be where we get spammed with missiles, right? I want to see if this weapon can do a good job at defeating. It's called the Flak Cannon. And I'm actually really glad we have instant build on because they're firing their missiles. So let's see how good these things are. Oh, yeah. Are you not gonna? They're not gonna fire. Oh my God. They just rocked our base. Oh, these are fantastic. But I'm gonna have to manually fire them. Oh my, okay. Oops. <laughs> Pardon me. Look at what they did in my base. Okay, let's see if the flak cannons win control because they just didn't fire at all. Look at this base, man. We are not doing good. All right, here we go. These are flak guns? They just kind of fired like tons of machine gun rounds instead of like exploding shells. <laughs> okay, that worked really well, but look how it almost did absolutely nothing to the enemy base. These things are specifically designed. Let's build some strong supports here. <laughs> okay, that's fantastic. Now that I know I can survive long enough, I like, I don't even have to think other than like, that's the general vicinity of where they're coming from. So then I can build this like, oh no, you jerks. Well, that's rude. All right, now they're doing it again. Can two defend? Let's see. Come on. Oh, wait. All right, that's problematic because we disconnected. Oh my God, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> and this thing's unnamed, so. Uh, let's uh, silence those guys. <laughs> There we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, we better be reloaded. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I pressed the wrong button. We just lost our cannon. We are getting lasered. So, I think the best defense is a strong offense here. Can I, can I cheekily do this? Will this actually work? There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. This will be control group two. And I think if we try this... Oh no, they're, they're definitely not even going to make it. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Are we reloaded? We better be reloaded fast, guys, because missiles are coming. Uh, missiles are coming, guys. And fire. Okay. Maybe a particle beam laser again? All right, these things need to fire like almost nothing. 2%. They were immediately destroyed by all those machine guns. And once again, we fired anti-aircraft in a preemptive strike as opposed to being ready to defend. And there goes my base. But luckily, the particle beams did a good job on their base. I think it's time to rebuild this. So, I'm not experiencing too much belief that we're able to easily defend dang howitzers i need you to drop one already exploded dang they explode super easy okay so what we have to do is clear the deck oh my gosh that is terribly obnoxious let's get another flak they don't have custom icons oh man i i do not <laughs> All right, one flak gun. Two, <laughs> and by one, I mean two, clearly. Okay. Why is that happening? Oh, my keyboard's jammed. I have, like, the tilde key is, uh, well, let's just say we gotta get it replaced. This keyboard is old. All right. Yeah. 
It's not there just yet. Enemy turbines are disabled. Yo. <laughs> now you can't produce any energy. Okay. There we go. Now we need control group 2 to fire exactly how they did the last time. They've taken a few machine gun rounds. How many are able to get through? All of them! Yes! Okay, howitzers proven to be very, very useful. Take out all their machine gunners again. Then we'll heat laser the core there and then wait for our howitzers. So, I mean, I don't know. These flat guns are very, very good, but they won't automatically fire. And that's unfortunate because I rely on that heavily. Please don't shoot ourselves. Yes! Now the core is exposed. Can we use this particle beam? Well, when it's done reloading, we should have chosen the commander that allowed us to get reloads super, super fast. I'm thinking... Oh, we did it a little bit too low. All right, but these howitzers are firing and there's really nothing left to stop us. So I'm thinking this is GG. <laughs> are you serious? It's, it's not because they have that left. Oh, really? Yeah, flat gun firepower is really all we needed in the end. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Forts. Look at this guy's face. He's like, I'm very sad. Uh, there were, there's a nuclear reaction in my home and I'm irradiated and I have a bullet through my chef's hat. So it's, I'm having a bad day. <laughs> Let me know what weapons you'd like to see modded in Forts. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.